Hey, what's going on? Thank you for joining me in this video of crushing e-commerce. My name is Travis Patel, and in this video I want to talk about outsourcing the system that we've created and outsourcing the store so that everything is being handled by someone else and you can focus your time on the important things and move on with other projects as this business continues to grow if that's something you want to do or be able to focus your time on adding the next pieces to the puzzle of growing your online e-commerce store. So when it comes to outsourcing it's very important that you take the steps that you're doing with your business and process it out into as simple of a step-by-step -step process and system as you possibly can. Just take the day-to-day -day practices that go on in your business and list them out so that anyone could follow the single task that when all put together in the right order equal the complicated and lucrative business that we've been talking about this entire course. So when it comes down to what we're doing as e-commerce store and really any online business there's really a few main pieces um, that we need to fulfill uh, to get started at least with the, the products and making sales and that comes down to pretty much what I have here on the list and this is what we're researching to get our e-commerce store started and then cranking from there and there's a lot more positions we could add onto this but this is our core base systems that are happening on a daily or weekly basis that we need handled that you don't need to spend your time on so first off we have research um, obviously there's a lot of research going on we're finding new products when we're finding the base products we're looking at the competition this is kind of going on you want to be researching and be up to date on, on what's new and what's happening every week every month so this is really something you want to have it's something to easily outsource with a virtual assistant or uh, kind of a lower cost employee just for doing some web research and making you a detailed docket of what the uh, you know the data is that you want to know then next off we have graphics now if you're doing t-shirts or you're doing the cell phone covers or any of those products that require custom graphics this is a very important piece with the t-shirt company I do graphics is the most important thing for selling a t-shirt you have to have an awesome design to sell t-shirts for the long term so that really comes down to an awesome graphic designer and now when it comes down to outsourcing it we have it all set up appropriately step by step to get the you know the first draft in we have a quality check process when we're finished we moved on we have the upload and each team here each piece of the puzzle passes the the flame on to the next so that's a constant moving system Next off, we have campaign creation. Anytime you have a new product, anytime you have a new campaign you're running, you need someone to set up those pages. So just even the Shopify sales pages or the you know email squeeze pages or anything like that, a blog page, you need someone to create those pages, and that's a content creation team. Next off, we have advertising, and this is when you're getting into the nitty-gritty of you know getting traffic and making money from your store quickly. So if you process out your advertising to where you have certain metrics that the the employee knows if we hit this much click-through rating and this much ROI then bump up the ad this much or if we don't hit that metric then you turn it off you know those are the type of things how we want to process out the advertising so that they know how to handle us on a wide scale and you can still if you're the advertising expert behind it as most of the online marketers are in this case then you can look at it in a wide scale and kind of judge how you want to adjust from there and we also need bookkeeping. You know, you want to know where the numbers are when you're starting to do this drop shipping, arbitrage, and all that. There's a lot of expenses coming out different areas. Um, you're taking percentages, but you're having to you're getting the full payment in, and you're paying out portions. And you have your own products. You're also talking about the manufacturing and shipping costs from China, and then putting it into warehouses and all different types of stuff that needs to be taken uh, taken care of and tracked. So you know your exact numbers, how what you're doing and doing each month. Where this is extremely important for any business to really grow. If you don't know your numbers, you don't know what's going on. Um, so this is important to outsource as soon as possible. With just so, you know someone who's good with numbers. If you have an account, this is something they can do. Um, it's just kind of a daily to a weekly number thing they can do each morning every night I have my project manager handle that and it just keeps us in track of what's going on and then like we talked about customer support very important to have your customers happy so you're looking for someone who's going to be a smiling face for your business here someone who understands sales as well so they can turn the conversation into an upsell or a product development or something like that 
And then we have product fulfillment. So if we're having the arbitrage system and drop shipping, when someone makes that order, we have to go fulfill that product. And we have, you know, you don't want to be having to make all those hundreds or thousands of orders that you're having each day of these products that you're fulfilling. So you have to have someone in place there to just make those that order process, which is very simple. So these are the main type of pieces of our e-commerce store right now. You know, if you're doing content, email systems, and blogs, and you might want a content writer or something like that. I also have a project manager in place, which kind of manages each of the teams that's going on here. And with this, like I said, we have each process broken down into very simplistic steps of how what needs to be done each day, check marked off. And we have it broken down first off into a process chart so that everyone can kind of you know know what's going on. So I'll dive into this. This is for the t-shirt bit process, the t-shirt business. So we have four different kind of steps to launching t-shirts. We have the initial step is just kind of the research and planning the attack. Next off, we get into the graphic design step, and this is where we submit our design ideas to our graphic designer. They submit us a first draft to a uh, Google Drive folder. We do a quality check. It moves on to the next step, campaign creation, and we have our step-by-step -step process here they follow. This moves on to the advertising team, which has their step-by-step -step process here. Now, this is done for every team out there. This is a t-shirt system. We have a different system for those that are doing the uh, necklaces or if we're doing the monthly box deals or if anything like that it has a little bit different process mostly the same steps going on in there same teams but just something a little different that fits it all together whatever your system may be because each of our businesses are going to be a little bit different so your process is going to be a little bit different as well but you want to have it broken down like this now each of these boxes represent a single step process that we can break down into even further detail so there's no confusion now, I like to use a project management tool called Asana, asana.com. Um, there's a free version. Uh, you can, it's pretty much, as you can see, it's a, a checkbox, checkmark uh, system that the, you can have employees. Here are all my employees over there that are in the system. And we have this templated out where this is the graphic creation template. And the initial step of the project is to create a copy of this template and name it whatever the week is. So that's step one. It takes this template I have created on Asana and makes it into a more project assigned to the graphic designer. The project manager will come into design one and add the details of what the design is. As you can see here, we have steps that the graphic designer has to check mark as they go through this. They notify the project manager when the first draft is done for the quality check. Project manager will check mark this one off for final design approved. And then our graphic designer takes that design he created and he creates an EPS version for our screen printing. And he also cre creates a mug version for our coffee mugs. So that is the step-by-step -step process that goes down. We have 15 to 25 designs go a week. He comes through at the end, all are done. And then it moves on, it passes the buck, the, passes the flame onto the next step of the process. So this is the graphic designer and project manager in this step-by-step -step process. Then we get to the final step here where we're gonna create a copy of the template promotion folder creation. And uh, promotion folder creation is pretty much taking the mock-up designs and the pictures of the shirt colors and the styles that we put the design on and putting it all into a folder so that our ad team has those pieces for when they create the ad graphics and the ad campaigns. So this is passed on to the campaign creation team who starts creating all the promo, promo folders, puts into the right you know folder or whatnot, check marks the different variants that are going on, and, and moves on to the next step where it just passes the buck again into the t-shirt campaign creation. Um, so, and then we get into you know Shopify upsell, uh, all types of different things that are working right there. So this is how we go about our, our campaign creation, our outsourcing, step-by-step -step process. There's enough, a lot of other uh, project management tools out there, but this is how we break it down. In the next videos here, I'll kind of break down each of the individual processes for the pieces we really are got outsourced running full steam right now. So see you then.